What does it feel like when you aren't in any drama, you don't care about things that don't matter, and you truly love yourself physically and mentally? It feels powerful, I can tell you that. Because you know that you can achieve anything that you put your mind into, and no one is stopping you but yourself. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this, productivity tips and vlogs, or just click on the playlist here. Also, turn on your notifications and set it to all so that you do not miss out on any future uploads. Before we continue, comment down below what simple thing makes you the happiest. Mine is drinking milk before bed. <laughs> I realized that when you ask people for advice on how to deal with hate or insecurities or online trolls, they always like to say, ignore it. Ignore the haters, ignore that Instagram post, ignore society's standard of beauty, ignore social norms. And I don't know about you, but I've never found that advice to be helpful in any way. Personally, I feel like anyone who finds this advice helpful are already unbothered to a certain extent. They already have very thick skin because I find it or anyone would find it very difficult to go from feeling hurt or insecure or betrayed by something to just completely ignoring the whole thing. There are so many steps in between before we are strong enough to ignore. Let's just say I'm insecure about my body, which everyone has felt at least once in their lives. And then I go onto Instagram and I see a picture of a beautiful woman with my idea of a perfect body. How am I supposed to ignore that feeling of insecurity, envy, or even jealousy if you want to go that far? If someone said something mean to me, how am I supposed to ignore that feeling of hurt and betrayal? That's why I've never found the advice of just ignore them particularly helpful in any way because if it was that easy, all of us would have done it already. Instead, after many years, I realized that acceptance is what helped me get over or even completely eliminate some of my insecurities and these negative feelings. Personally, I find it much easier and healthier to accept all these feelings and then move on. There was this TikTok trend going around where women were pulling their baggy shirts back to reveal an hourglass figure. And I don't know why, me, I decided to walk over to my mirror and try this trend. Instead of seeing an hourglass shape, I just saw like an A4 paper. <laughs> like come on, I bought this chongsam when I was 12 years old, what was I expecting my body to look like? After I saw my A4 paper body in the mirror, I just laughed it off and that's it. <laughs> it's not perfect and I accept that. My body isn't my dream body and it definitely doesn't fit society's standards of a perfect body. And that's okay. I love it anyways. Acceptance isn't defeat. Acceptance is not, oh my body isn't perfect, I'll just accept it because I can't change it. For me, acceptance is, my body isn't perfect and that's okay. I love it anyways. The same thing goes for online trolls and hate. Remember that we're talking about hate here and not criticism. There is a difference between your work sucks and your work isn't very good and could be improved by doing blah blah blah. You want to accept criticism but ignore hate. So on the topic of hate, I've accepted the fact that what they said is hurtful. But I also understand that they either had a bad day and lashed it out on you, or they just didn't know any better. Both of which aren't your fault. Is it unfair? Yes. But can you do something about it? Not really. It's not worth your time or energy to try and converse with these people and tell them that they're wrong because it's, it's not your job to tell them that they're being dumb. <laughs> Next, you do not need to give explanations. Sometimes, silence is your best answer. I mentioned this in my 10,000 subscribers Q&A which you can check out here, but if they don't like you, they don't like you. There is nothing you can do or say that will change their mind. 
So trying to convince someone that they're wrong and you're right or what they're saying is not true will never work and it's a waste of time and energy. I don't know why, right? But back in high school or secondary school, a lot of people assumed that I was arrogant because I was a confident introvert that minded her own business. <laughs> it's quite funny to think about it now. I just took my studies and my co-curricular activities very seriously. You could literally come up to me and be like, Faye, have you heard about this drama? Or, hey, did you hear what he or she said about you? And I'll literally be like, okay. <laughs> like I would literally have no reaction. I'd rather spend my time and energy focusing on things that actually matter in my life. Like my family, my friends, my academics, and my co-curricular activities. I grew a lot as a person in high school. An advertisement might play in the next few seconds, so if you want to support this channel, please do not skip the ads. Thank you! I grew a lot as a person in high school. My results improved a lot. I formed true, lasting friendships. I tried many new things, all because I didn't waste my time entertaining people that wanted to see me fail. I'd rather succeed and have them talk about that instead. And so should you. Not everyone in this world is nice or understanding, and that's okay. You do you. You create a life that you want to live and only give time to people that actually appreciate you. Once you stop trying to please everyone and start pouring all your energy into the people around you, you'd be surprised with how many amazing friendships you form. By the way, remember that drama almost never gets resolved. Either everyone got bored and moved on to the next one or someone had a mental breakdown. So don't bother trying to waste your time on drama, especially if you're still a student. For me, it took years to become truly unbothered. I've always been quite confident, but to not care about what other people think, is it took a longer time. No one said that it would be easy, but the feeling you get when you can finally step back and say, wow, I feel so fulfilled and happy, that makes you feel so powerful. Like you could accomplish anything in this world because no one is holding you back, not even yourself. I've said this before and I'll say it again, you determine your own success. Which brings me to my next point, don't expect too much from people. Not everyone is nice, not everyone shares the same opinion as you, and not everyone likes you. Expectations give you a false sense of certainty. It makes you think that people will act in your favor or act in the way that you want them to. That's why it hurts so bad when friends, family, or other people do something that hurts you because you expected more out of them. So by lowering your expectations, you're gonna be a lot less disappointed. Next, you have to realize that it's okay to remove people and things from your life. And you don't have to feel guilty about it. Walk away from things that make you unhappy and do not feel guilty about it, whether that be a friend, a family, or especially a social media platform. Is it worth it to follow that guy or girl on Instagram that makes you insecure? No. Sometimes it's okay to be selfish. In this context, selfish is just loving yourself enough that you can establish boundaries with who you surround yourself with and the things you do for others. Don't ever feel guilty for removing someone toxic from your life or not wanting to help someone that clearly doesn't want to be helped. You need to create a life that you want to live. You need to spend every single day doing things that you love, working towards that goal, that passion of yours. Your life should be so fulfilling and purposeful that you have the power to pick who enters your life and every single person that enters your life adds value to it. I'm at a point where literally every single person in my life makes me feel confident and loved. You shouldn't have the time or make the time to deal with people that make you unhappy or get jealous over your success. And if you're the successful one, be sure to share your knowledge, share your kindness, bring others up with you. Don't be like one of those students that doesn't share exam tips because they want to score the highest. Like, no. 
So we've made it to the end of the video. If you have made it this far, comment down below many heart emojis. Let's make the comment section a positive and loving space. The day I'm posting this video is actually the first day of Chinese New Year, so I have a message for everyone who is celebrating this holiday. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and be sure to subscribe so that you do not miss out on any future uploads. Thank you so much for 40,000 subscribers. We only had like 25,000 in the last video. This is crazy, but thank you so much for your support. A lot of you are actually from India, like my new subscribers. If you're from India, leave a comment down below. Say hi, welcome to the family, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.